Hey everyone, so today I have here, this is a Dell Inspiron. And it's not just really anything about the Inspiron in particular, but you get this little error. I'm going to show you about this. It's a loop. It looks like an update failed or something like that. Um, it just happens, you know, it does happen a bit, especially now a little bit recently as I'm making this video. Um, a little late April and everything, it has been going on. So, so we've been seeing this issue quite a bit, um, especially more on a lot of Windows machines trying to do updates and not successfully doing them or having a problem and it's trying to undo the changes. Um, it also could be related to what's been going on recently with the latest Windows update. And if you see here that some of the causes could be blue screen of death, random reboots, problems with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and it's just something to be aware of. Uh, we've seen a lot more recently, so it does seem like it is a big, bigger issue. If we've seen it just in the very um, short amount of time within the last two weeks, so yeah, it's just one thing to be aware of um, about this issue with Windows. And of course, if you have a BitLocker on top of that and you're unaware of that, you could be um, at risk of your data being lost, especially if you don't remember the recovery for that. We've seen a few of those difference with the updates, loops, and everything. But that's not really what I want to talk about here. I do want to talk about what's going on with the BitLocker situation. So, so BitLocker is a security that's built into Windows. Um, I assume, I could be wrong, but I do assume when you buy a laptop, some of them have it already pre-installed and they're activated while it's working. So BitLocker is more of a security system that helps protect the data from just really other people trying to get the data from you. Um, it's a good way to do it from like, um, if you're just doing, if you're on your laptop or anything and someone tries to access it, it does make it a little bit more difficult if they don't have the pin and they try to go like with an external source, like they're trying to back it up or they're just trying to retrieve data from it. You definitely need to have um, either the pin for it or it does have a recovery code and there's recovery ID and there's all these other things that come with it. If you do ever have a problem with your operating system or if you have any other, if your computer just goes automatically dead just all of a sudden, um, to get the data off there, you would need that BitLocker recovery code. And with that recovery code, um, you can retrieve the information, protect yourself from, from people from outside sources. Because even like us, now the reason I'm making this video is because it's very difficult. Um, the main reason I do want to talk today about this is because the customer the customer who buys the, the machine doesn't even realize most of the time that there is a bit locker or some type of encryption on their hard drive so they're you know they come in they have a problem with their operating system like we have here and they just want to get the data off okay you know the operating system did is in a loop and there's nothing we could do we have to reinstall the operating system and we have to get the data off securely so um we the best way really to do that is just to go with external source. We can have a bootable um, hard drive and, and try to access it. Or we can have other ways, of course, we can take out the hard drive and just plug it in and we can access it that way. But when you have a BitLocker, it makes things a lot more difficult, if not almost impossible, unless you have that recovery code, unless you have that recovery ID. Um, if you don't even realize that you have it, that you probably never wrote it down or anything. Um, you, there is a setting that does that you can go into a BitLocker setting, you can turn on and off BitLocker. But for a common person just buying a computer and they're not formatting it right away and they're just using it as the laptop's given to them, you know, right when they buy from like Staples, Best Buy, Micro Center, those places. Once they buy from there, they bring it home, they're just using it as normal. Something goes wrong, then they want to get the, their data off. What are they supposed to do? So they'll come to a store like us or they'll come to another place and if they're not really sure what to do, they'll just say, yeah, they're just, you know, the problem with the operating system, there's a loop. I don't really know what to do. I just want to get my documents, pictures off there. Okay, you know, we'll take a look at it and see what's going on. So I put it down here and then I'm like, oh, there's a bit locker. <laughs> so I can't even tell that until I start really playing with it. If I try to access the hard drive, it just shows a lock there and there's not a whole lot you can do. So then I will give them a call and I would say, hey, there's a BitLocker. Oh, then I get the answer. I'm like, oh, I never even knew what a BitLocker is. I had never even seen it before. So I don't, you know, they don't even know what you're talking about. So if they don't know what I'm talking about, then they probably never even put it on there in the first place. Because if you put it on there, you know, there's going to be a recovery key. You're going to have access to the pins. Uh, we do a lot of data recoveries here and we've had a lot of the BitLockers before. If you do have a problem with a totally dead computer, and you just want to pull off the data from the windows 
uh, that has a BitLocker, it's not going to allow you to do that unless you use the original hardware. So if you get a replacement motherboard, it's not going to work with the BitLocker. Unless you, of course, you have the BitLocker ID. Um, so if you don't know what it is, and we've done a bunch of these before, and if you don't know what the recovery ID is, uh, we have to fix the problem. And sometimes, you know, there could be a short on the CPU and everything. It does make it a lot more difficult. Um, of course, you can always wipe it. You can still use a hard drive. You can wipe it. You can reinstall. You can reinstall Windows or or anything else. But to access the data, it's tied into. Uh, it's a Windows tie. It's a Windows security that's tied into Windows. So if you want to pull any data off there, you you can't do that unless you have the recovery keys. So, so this particular client, um, I'll actually kind of show you what's going on here. So if you're trying to access it without just going to the operating system, this is what comes up. If you turn off secure boot or anything, if you just even do that in general, it's just going to give you to the screen. So we did that. We tried that, and uh, we also tried doing the little repair for Windows. Uh, it's always a shot in the dark with this one. It usually doesn't work, but uh, we try to test it anyway here to see if it did, if there was a way just to do it so we can get around it, um, just to try to repair the operating system. But um, it did. It was giving us trouble even to do this. You know, we tried a, a few different types of. We try a few different types of steps, and this is what I keep getting again. <laughs> Got to start up repair. And again, it's asking for a recovery key to use it. And again, it's it's going to go to that screen every time. So it's another bad thing. We also tried other you know methods, and I'll just kind of show you them here as well. So once this happens, uh, it's very hard to fix the operating system, and it does look like it just really needs a reinstall, to be honest here. So it's un really unfortunate, but yep, yeah, just want to show you guys real quick what we did. And as you can see, what I just showed is um, just kind of all the little steps that we did and what we can do. Um, but unless the guy has a recovery key and he doesn't re even realize that he has it in the first place, there's not a whole lot we can really do for him. Um, the bill locker is it's a pretty secure thing on there, and there's not a lot of software tools that will work to remove that. You really have to have that pin. You really have to have that pin or security code on there. Otherwise, the data is going to be extremely difficult, if not almost impossible, to get off there. Check the setting to see if you have a BitLocker on or off, um, because if it is on right now, you don't even realize it. If you need to get stuff on off of there, off of your computer, if it dies or anything, you're going to have a lot harder trouble, and you might be out of luck anyway in general. Um, Yes, so anyways, I uh, really hope you enjoyed watching this video and found this very informative. If you do like this video, it actually does help a lot of other people see this type of information out there just to kind of really put it out there because it really does help Google kind of spread it everywhere. Little, you know, little sprinkles everywhere where they do so of information. So we like to try to put that out there for everyone. We like for people to see the videos. We try to make them as informative as we possibly can. Um, it really does help a lot. You guys have been really supportive recently with all the subscribers. Um, but anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye.